Hello viewers, uh, this is INR Jayabalan. Today we are going to discuss about differential loading in Angular. Basically, uh, differential loading is nothing but uh, to load the respective uh, JS files to support both uh, modern and older browser. For example, if we have a uh, Chrome and the latest Firefox and all, you know, uh, we have to load the different set of files for the Angular application. Same way, if if you would like to support your Angular application to run in older browser, you have to load the different set of files to support that one. So let's see that one, how, how we can implement that differential loading in Angular. Let me create a new application. Style, I am choosing the CSS style model. Now application is created. Let me open the VS code. I just open the code, let me open the terminal. Let me build the application using the ng build. If you see the terminal window, you know, so it's created uh, two files. One is ES2015 and ES5. So let me go to the distribution folder and for the app one, if you see that one, uh, we have uh, two files. One is main ES5 and main ES2015 file. For each and every file, we have two files. So this ES5 is to support older browsers and ES2015 is for modern browsers. But when we are running our Angular application, how Angular application will know that one to load whether we have to load that ES2015 or ES5. Let's get into that one. Now if you see the index.html, let me format the document. If you see that one, we are referring both the files. If you see that one, both ES2015 and ES5 files. But how the browser will know that one whether we have to load whether the browser will load both the files or it will load only one files. Okay, actually, if it is a modern browser, it will check whether the type is module. If any script with this type equal to module, it will load that JS file. If there is any no module, it won't load. So modern browser will see the type equal to module and load that file and it will skip the no model files. So modern, modern browser will load only ES2015 files. And if it is an older browser, the older browser doesn't know about type equal to model, but whatever the which is having no module, those files will be loaded in the older browser. Now let's see that one. How we will see a reality in a, how it is loading in the browser. Let me install HTTP server I have installed now let me get into the distribution folder let me run this one If you see that one, this is a 800 port, it will run. I'm just running this output. Now, if you see that one, let's see that one, what all the files has been loaded in our browser. 
okay now if you see that one this is a modern browser chrome browser it's loading only the es2015 files we won't see that one es5 files okay so that is a advantage of having the uh, type equal to module in uh, in script references so now let's see that one how these files is generated where we have the configuration to generate es2015 and es5 files basically if you see that one in your ts config file there you will tell that one target if your target is es2015 it will generate both the files if the target is es5 it will generate only the es5 file to support older browser okay now let's see that one i'm stopped that running i'm just navigating back to application and let me change to es5 es5 means it will support only older browser now let me do the ng build so build is completed now let me go to the distribution folder now you can see that one only one files previously we have seen two files one is es2015 and es5 now it is generated only the es5 files so when this this means only the older browser you know older browser handle will run in this case so let me change it back to 2015 and also okay what are the browsers that our angular application have to support that where you can say that one you know in that browser list this is a browser list where we will say that one what are the browsers my angular application have to support here it's mentioned that when you see that one i don't want to support ie 9 to 11 okay if you want to support ie 9 to 11 you have to just remove this one and you have to build it again okay so let me see the i'm just running i'm just changing here so if i do ng build what it will do it will generate a build to support both ie 9 and 11 browsers okay so accordingly based on your the browser list configuration that the scripts will be added accordingly to support respective browsers i'm just uh, reverting that one and also you can have a question that you know uh, that why this bra this uh, we are generating two file one is with es5 and es2015 why can't we merge it to you know both the files in the single one and you know uh, it will load that file basically uh, they have done you know to avoid to load a big bundle okay if we are loading the big bundle definitely your page will get uh, you know slow down so to avoid that one and also to load only the necessary files so for that reason only they have separated one with es5 another one is es2015 okay now hope you enjoyed that one that how that angular application supporting both olden browser and modern browser and how the files is loading based on your browser set browser okay thank you uh, if you want to see more technical videos like this please subscribe